Okay, here I'm going to graph two periods of the function y equals 2 times sine of x minus pi over 6. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the amplitude, which is the absolute value of positive 2, or which will give us 2. The, uh, the period is still going to be the same. The period is going to be 2 pi divided by the absolute value of b. In this case, your b value is a positive 1. So the period is still 2 pi. And it's going to look like sine x, except for it's been shifted to the right pi over 6 units. Okay, it's going to be shifted to the right pi over 6 units. To get my increments, I use the period. And I take the period and divide that into 4. So 2 pi over 4, that's going to be pi over 2. However, uh, since we're initially starting it at pi over 6 units, I'm going to rewrite that with a denominator of 6, and I'm going to write that as 3 pi over 6. Okay, so let's see here. Um, let's make that the point pi over 6, and then we're going to go uh, 3 pi over 6 to get to the next, the next, uh, the next, my next increment. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so if we started at pi over 6, again, if I move over 3 pi over 6 units, that's going to put me at 4 pi over 6. And again, you could certainly reduce this to 2 pi over 3. I'm not going to. Um, let's see, then we have 7 pi over 6, and I'm not going to reduce it because to me it's easier. It helps me see the pattern. 10 pi over 6, uh, let's see, 13 pi over 6, 16 pi over 6, 19 pi over 6, 22 pi over 6, let's see. I think that'll be enough to give us two periods. So again, the amplitude here was positive 2. So I'm going to make that positive 2, and then down here will be negative 2. And again, normally sine of 0 is 0, but we've now shifted this to the right pi over 6 units. So at pi over 6, we'll be getting exactly equal to 0. And again, you can always plot points and, and, and verify that. If you plug in x equals pi over 6, we'll have sine of 0, which is 0. Well, at 4 pi over 6, again, this is why I like to do this, uh, my increments the way I do. At Once I move over one of those increments of pi over 2, or equivalently 3 pi over 6, I'm now going to be up here at my highest value of positive 2. Then I'm going to be back at 0. At 10 pi over 6, I'm going to be at negative 2. And then back to 0. At 16 pi over 6, I'm at positive 2 back to zero, and I think that's enough for two periods. So there's one period. Nope, actually I'm totally wrong there. Need to go a little bit more. So at 22 pi over 6, it'll bottom out at negative 2. We need to go over another 3 pi over 6, which will give us 25 pi over 6. That'll put us back at zero. And now we've got two periods of our, of our function. Again, you can certainly reduce the, the, the values on the x-axis, uh, you know, 10 pi over 6, hey, that's 5 pi over 3. But again, if you looked over at me on my graph, you would see exactly this, and, uh, you know, maybe I would underneath have them reduced. But, just to get the correct graph, this to me is the easiest way to do it.